So while our dishwashers can be used to clean almost everything, there's one thing you shouldn't wash in your dishwasher, and that's your wooden cutting board. Over time, the dishwasher can cause wood to crack or warp. So instead, just take a minute to wash your cutting board by hand. I'm gonna show you the basic cleaning method plus the right way to disinfect. For a quick clean, wash your wooden cutting board with hot water and dishwashing liquid. Use a sponge or a dish brush to scrub the board, concentrating on any areas that have scratches or knife marks because this is where bacteria can hide. And remember, even if you only cut on one side of your board, you wanna make sure to wash both sides of the board thoroughly. And if there's a handle, remember to wash that too. Then just rinse the board thoroughly. And here comes the important part. Grab a dish towel and dry the board completely. And you don't wanna lay the board flat to dry or else it can cause mold. If you cut raw meat on your wooden cutting board, here's how to make sure it's germ-free. First, you can soak a clean cloth in white vinegar and then use it to wipe down the board. Vinegar isn't an EPA-recognized disinfectant, but it has been shown to work against E. coli and salmonella. Now, if you wanna truly disinfect your board and make sure that all of the germs are removed, use a dish brush to scrub the board with a solution of one teaspoon bleach diluted in two quarts of water. Then, wash the board with dishwashing liquid and dry it thoroughly. Because wooden cutting boards are porous, they can get stained pretty easily. So when this happens, sprinkle the board with coarse salt, then rub half a lemon cut side down over the board. The salt is mildly abrasive, while the lemon juice will help lighten the stains. To prevent your cutting board from cracking and to avoid future stains, you want to apply a food grade cutting board oil. Now, you don't want to use olive oil or vegetable oil for this. Using a clean cloth, apply the oil to the board, working in the direction of the grain. Then you just wanna let it sit for a few hours before wiping away any excess. Repeat this process about once a month and your favorite cutting board is gonna stay shiny and stain-free. Want to learn how to make everything else in your home spotless? Follow along on realsimple.com.